And it's certainly something I'd had to do most of my life, which is reinvent myself, you know, through a series of medical difficulties, having to go through tons of operations where people say you'll never walk again, you'll never dance again, you'll be in a wheelchair the rest of your life. I mean, I'm now up to number 13 surgeries. <laughs> but um, somehow there's always been a way to reconfigure. Hard, but just reconfigure. Do it a different way then. Figure out another way to move. Figure out another way to think. Figure out another way to put the moving and thinking together so you still come out with something. You know, um, and what I tell teachers a lot is that, because a lot of times they'll say, well, how, how am I going to do this? And what I tell them is, well, when you get a role in a dance or in a, in a play, how do you figure it out? Is it always based on who you are? Not necessarily. It may be a kind of dance that you don't normally do or a kind of play or, or a character you don't normally do. So don't you have to reconfigure who you are to fit that character so you can portray it? Whether it's a movement in movement or whether it's in, in song or whether it's in script. And yeah, you do. That's, that's what being an artist is about. So when, when we think of it that way, then all of a sudden it doesn't seem such an insurmountable, how do I, you know, how do, I do this? Because it, it's really no different. A lot of people ask me when I first started Infinite Dreams, they kind of went, dance, disability, what are you, crazy, what, huh? And how does that work? I said, it works just the way you work art. It's no different. You're just going to a different origin. You're going to a different place to begin to do it. Just like you do when you have a role and you have to figure out, okay, this choreographer is a left turner and I'm a right turner. Hey. I gotta figure that out. How am I gonna make this fit me and still do it? Or lots of times as an actress, you get roles that you're not that person. So what do you have to do? You have to go back and think of all the, the areas emotionally that you could relate to that person. So you little by little change who you are so you can become that person. But it's a, it's a pro, to me anyway, it's just my way of doing it. It's like a process of elimination. You eliminate, okay, I'm eliminating this part of Xena because it isn't this character I'm playing. But this part of Xena is. So all I do is magnify that. 